Generally we will find that day shapes are difficult to see when they are in use on vessels. That just means, 1. When we display day shapes, we must consider how to make them easily seen by other mariners too. We have to look harder at vessels during daylight to see if they are displaying day shapes Annex 1. Part 6 of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea describes the requirements for color, size and space between day shapes. What is a vessel? A vessel is any description of watercraft capable of being used for transportation on water. The full definition of a vessel is in Rule 3A of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea. What is a power-driven vessel? A power-driven vessel is any vessel propelled by machinery. The full definition of a power-driven vessel is in Rule 3b of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea. The propulsion machinery does not have to be in use, for example drifting, it is still a power-driven vessel. A sailing vessel is a vessel under sail. The propulsion machinery if fitted, must not be in use. The full definition of a sailing vessel is in Rule 3 C of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea. Let us take a look at our first day shape. When a sailing vessel is using propulsion machinery and sail, it should display a cone with the apex downward. We can see that shape in the lower left of this photo. The day shape for vessels using propulsion machinery and sail are described in Rule 25 E. Let us take a look at our first day shape. When a sailing vessel is using propulsion machinery and sail, it should display a cone with the apex downward. We can see that shape in the lower left of this photo. The day shape for vessels using propulsion machinery and sail are described in Rule 25 E. Here is a close-up of the day shape for vessels using propulsion machinery and sail. A vessel engaged in fishing is a vessel using fishing equipment that restricts the vessel's maneuverability. The full definition of a vessel engaged in fishing is in Rule 3 D of the ERPS. A vessel engaged in fishing should display two cones apex together. The day shapes for vessels engaged in fishing are described in Rule 26 B I. We can see those shapes in this photo. Here is a close-up of the day shapes for vessels engaged in fishing. When the vessel engaged in fishing has outlying gear extending more than 150 meters, the vessel should display another cone, apex upward, in the direction of the outlying gear. The day shape for vessels engaged in fishing with outlying gear extending more than 150 meters are described in Rule 26 C. 2. Rule 3 G. 2 states in part that a vessel engaged in underwater operations is restricted in ability to maneuver. The day shapes for vessels engaged in underwater operations are described in Rule 27 E. 2. We can see the rigid replica of the International Code of Signals Alpha flag in this photo. For underwater operations, the IRPCS describes the International Code of Signals Alpha flag, shown here on the right. It means I have a diver down, keep well clear of me at slow speed. The red and white flag is also used as a dive flag by some divers. A vessel engaged in towing and the length of tow measured from the stern of the towing vessel to the stern of the tow exceeds 200 meters, should display black diamond shape. The day shape for a vessel engaged in towing and the length of tow exceeds 200 meters is described in Rule 24 A V. We can see that shape in this photo. A vessel or object being towed and the length of tow measured from the stern of the towing vessel to the stern of the tow exceeds 200 meters, should display a black diamond shape. The day shape for a vessel or object being towed and the length of tow exceeds 200 meters is described in Rule 24 E. 3. We can see that shape in this photo. Here is a close-up of the day shape for vessels and objects engaged in towing operations where the length of tow exceeds 200 meters. A vessel constrained by draft is a vessel whose underkeel clearance in relation to the available depth and breadth of navigable water is unable to deviate from her course. The full definition of a vessel restricted in ability to maneuver is in Rule 3 H of the ERPCS. A vessel constrained by draft should display black cylinder. 
The day shape for vessels constrained by draft is described in Rule 28. We can see that shape in this photo. Here is a close-up of the day shape for vessels constrained by draft. Guidance for navigating around vessels constrained by draft and around the navigational channels they use is given in Rule 9 of the ERPS. More details are available in another lesson. A vessel that is underway is a vessel that is not at anchor, not aground and not made fast to the shore. The full definition of underway is in Rule 3 I of the ERPS. A vessel at anchor should display a ball in the furry part. The day shape for vessels at anchor is described in Rule 30 A I. Here is a close-up of the day shape for vessels at anchor. A vessel aground should display three balls in a vertical line where they can best be seen. The day shape for vessels aground is described in Rule 30 D 2. Here is a close-up of the day shapes for vessels aground. In meteorology there are descriptions for good, moderate and poor visibility. With poor visibility defined as 1000 meters or less. So what is restricted visibility? Restricted visibility is when visibility is restricted by heavy rain, mist or smoke. The full definition of restricted visibility is in Rule 3 L of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea. Guidance on how to avoid collisions and restricted visibility is in Rule 19 and the sound signals used in restricted visibility are in Rule 35.